Welcome to Kansas Motor Speedway. So this Kansas race is happening at 8 p.m. and then at 12 a.m. And that is a shocker. I mean, i never seen a race that ends literally the next day. Thankfully, it's a Saturday when this race comes on and on Sunday, which I would have to go to sleep to wake up for school and all that, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Alright. So, let's just start, get started. But before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That will be really, really appreciated, as is hitting the like button. Uh, answer in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to be the top 10 in qualifying, stage 1, stage 2, and the top 10 at the end of the race, too? So, that leaves, um, what else was there? Uh, hit that notification bell, so every time I post a video, you'll get notified. And... Share this video with your family and friends, and that will be very, very highly appreciated. But without further ado, do yes, I know that's weird, but anyway, without further ado, let's get started. First place, we have Joey Logano. He's won the pool a couple of times, maybe only once, but anyway, he's won the pool before. So yeah, you know that's why I feel like he could possibly win the pool again. So yeah. Martin Trix Jr., he's the driver that's in position to win three in a row, be the first driver to win three in a row. Three. And if he doesn't, it's only going to be two in a row. The only other drivers who have won two in a row are Jeff Gordon in the two opening races, 2001-2002, and Matt Kenseth in 2011, maybe 12, and 2012, and maybe 13, I don't know. And Martin Trix Jr. swept both... Um, the fall and the spring race at Kansas last year, so let's see if he can do it again. Stenhouse has pretty good qualifying here. He's going to start third. Fourth place, Blaney. Fifth place, uh, this guy has won once here at Kansas. Denny Hamlin. Then it's the Bush Boys, Kurt and Kyle. First, sixth, and seventh. Harvick wins eighth. Bowman, ba Byron and Bowman have both won at this track in some other series. That's why I feel like they're going to stick in the top ten. Especially because they've both impressed me this year. I mean, Bowman ran well at Daytona. And then there was Byron who was leading during, uh, during Mo Phoenix and Auto Club. And he finished 19th at Martinsville, which is pretty good for a young gun. You know. I mean, it's only Eric Jones' second year here, and he's finishing, you know, average of, uh, let's see. He's finishing average of, like, uh, 12 or something. So, I know, for him finishing 19th, that's pretty good for a young gun like that. Alright. Stage 1. Winner, Martin Trix Jr., obviously. You know that Martin Truex Jr. is starting higher than the rest. However, Joey Logano actually had issues in stage one. That's probably why he didn't win the first stage. If not, then he would probably have won the stage. But that's talk for another time. Kyle Busch comes second. Ricky Stenhouse has that third spot secured. Yep, Kyle Busch is making up like five positions. Joey Logano, fourth. I don't know why I picked Ricky Stenhouse to stay in his position. I thought he would. I thought I made him fall down to fifth. Oh well. Ryan Blaney, fifth. William Byron making his way all the way up to sixth. New driver in the top ten. Kyle Larson. And Alex Bowman is in eighth. Brad Keselowski is in ninth. And then, and he's also new to the top ten. Brad Keselowski. And Denny Hamlin is in there. Stage 2. Winner, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch is a one or two, maybe even three-time winner at Kansas. Pretty sure it's two, though. That shows me that he's pretty good. So he's going to edge out Martin Truex Jr. I'm pretty sure he may have gotten a stage win last year at Kansas. Maybe two. But nothing more than that. I think he may have got one. So Kyle Busch wins the stage, Martin Truex Jr. comes second, 
William Byron all the way up third. He may be able to contend for the win. You will see. Ryan Blaney fourth. Larson fifth. Bowman sixth. Logano seventh. Brad Keselowski and Jamie McMurray, a new driver to the top ten, over I believe. Over, um, maybe Stenhouse who fell all the way out. Yeah, Stenhouse fell out. Whoops, you just saw the end of the race results. Whoops, whoops. So I'm going to go over for Alright, Casey Kane is in 10th. Wow. So you already saw the end of the race winner, Martin Fix Jr. Yeah, yeah, he's going to win three in a row. Good job, Martin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm done. Alright, good job, Martin Fix Jr. I think he got his 17th win. Yep, even as of my predictions, he's going to get my 17th win. Because I believe I predicted Martin Truex at Texas, maybe? Maybe Las Vegas. No, I think I predicted Kyle Busch for Las Vegas. Oh, well. William Byron closing in for second. Kyle Busch third. Bowman fourth. Bowman the showman. Larson fifth. Kislowski sixth. Blaney seventh. And come on, Kane eighth, McMurray ninth, and tenth place. I think a new driver to the top ten. Well, you could say kind of new. He came from the back. He went to the back. Maybe came to the front. Kevin Harvick. You know. So Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr. both have two wins by this point. Even though Kevin Harvick has three wins, but uh, do you guys want a spoiler? And I'm gonna spoil it at the very end of the video. So if you wanna see us hear a spoiler, then uh then just stay tuned until the end of the video. You know, if you don't wanna hear the spoiler, just um you know. But because it's gonna be about the predictions, you know. This prediction right here. So you know. Kyle Bush third, Joy Logano fourth, Jimmy Johnson fifth, Danny Hamlin sixth, Brad Kislowski seventh. All with one win, as does Daryl Walls Jr. I believe I predicted him to win at Dover, Bowman at Phoenix, Jones at Bristol. Yep, and after that, Larson, Harvick, Byron, um, Newman, or Blaney rather, Newman, Boyer, Kurt Busch, Stenhouse, yeah. Then Almendinger. McMurray passes Daniel Suarez for 20th. And also, Bowman passes Jones for ninth. So, yeah. Then Kane, Bain, Menard, Busher, and last but not least, Austin Dillon. Yay! You may know who just qualified for the pool at Charlotte, in my opinion. That's okay. <coughs> so, those were my Kansas picks. So, if you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, uh... Answer in the comment section below who do you think is going to win this race and everything. Stage one winner, point standing is if you really want. Um make sure to hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video you get notified. And share the video with your family and friends. So now here's a spoiler, guys. So if you don't want to hear it, just go go away. Because it's about a, um predictions over here. And my first big, bold, and very bad prediction is that Kevin Harvick will not win until the playoffs. Yes, I know, that's ridiculous, but... <sighs> well, I'm already wrong, basically, because Harvick's already won three races. And this is uh, when I just started, you know, when I just... Uh, Atlanta happened when I just finished Indianapolis. So I wasn't going to see Harvick winning it at all. So, you know. That sucks. I don't want to redo it either. Because, you know. It'll be obnoxious. All that hard work for nothing. But anyway. So if you guys enjoyed, don't leave hate comments. Just predictions, dudes. You may get someone wrong too. I mean, I don't think anyone ever saw Quinn Boyer going to win. Or Austin Dillon. I don't think anyone ever saw Clint Boyer or Austin Hill. Or Martin Truex. No, I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure everyone saw Martin Truex was going to win this year. So, yeah. Um. 
So check out this content in the top left, top right, bottom left, whatever corners. And I'll see you all later.